Hi, I'm here to talk to you about um, Quick Bytes number eight. Uh, so we are here going to be talking about uh, what is a constraint in design or architecture or in, in or in any kind of uh, endeavor that you end up taking. So constraint is something that is actually preventing you from achieving your goal. So you want to you know do something uh, but you probably have a constraint on money on time on uh, budget on resources so it could be any kind of a constraint that is there so that's quite easy to understand right so you uh, probably want to you know uh, buy uh, a good car or a better house then you could actually have a constraint in terms of the budget in terms of the money uh, probably how far you you have self-imposed constraint that you know you, uh, you should be within uh, so many kilometers kilometers from my workplace and so that's a self-imposed constraint so you could have self-imposed constraints and you could have uh, external constraints also on what you're trying to do so basically mm, let us say that um, you know you are uh, uh, trying to uh, build the architecture for a product and solution and you've got a constraint that we should be having we should build uh, promote more build versus uh, rather than buy uh, so you probably play around with a lot of open source and uh, uh, those kind of things so you sh you would actually avoid buying expensive software so that's a constraint uh, that uh, you have because they say architecture and then maybe you could have a constraint in the architecture saying that uh, we will support a rest based architecture or microservices based architecture so if you have to truly create a rest based or microservices architecture architecture then the microservices architecture should actually you know, the service that you're going to create uh, should be elastic resilient composable minimal and it should be complete you know that kind of stuff so we, you could have those kind of constraints uh, you could have uh, uh, like they say architecture uh, so let us say that your architecture is saying that okay from the web tier to the data tier you should support only uh, uh, http you should only support tcp ip uh, based uh, protocol and from the web tier to the app tier you could uh, from the browser to the web tier it could be https and so so those are architecture constraints that are telling you okay this is what is there as a part of the architecture and this is how you need to navigate Uh, those things uh, in the architecture so because they say architecture is like a concrete so once you allow it to settle it's very hard very hard to change those decisions so constraints in a way they can help you to navigate around uh, the problem and uh, they can be good and uh, Sometimes uh, if the constraints are too rigid, they can actually stifle your innovation. But the job of a good designer uh, is to, to actually make sure that uh, you are using them to your advantage and creating solutions uh, that would be required. So uh, in the case of Airbnb, it appears that when they were trying to build the system, so they had a constraint that whatever they need has to be scalable and uh, you know that was the constraint that uh, they had in mind right from the beginning and uh, so they were like uh, having this huge bottleneck that okay how are we going to create a system that is going to be um, you know scalable from the beginning and they were quite stuck in that um, uh, decision that they were not able to build a good system because of that constraint that they had imposed on themselves so one of the venture capitalists uh, who was funding the venture uh, told the founders told the founders okay you don't have to scale the system you build the system and the scaling part we will see so once that constraint was removed 
so their energies were spent on actually making it work and uh, once they made it work then uh, you know scaling the system was a byproduct so they could do it uh, quite easily uh, so uh, at times you need to give permission to yourself to you know uh, move away from your own self imposed uh, constraints and uh, if you are able to do that then that can improve uh, innovation as well so don norman who is uh, 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 considered as uh, an ex guru in uh, design design thinking so he talks about constraints as uh, something that designers can work their way around to improve the aesthetics of how things work uh so uh, his book which says everyday design uh, uh in that uh, he talks about various parameters on how you could actually you know play around with constraints and uh, create things that really work are visually appealing and quite intuitive uh, to this to say the least uh, when you work around with constraints so uh, another way of explaining constraints could be architecture is the how you you know define things and design is constrained by architecture so let us say that you built a building from the grounds up and uh, in that building you've got uh, three floors and uh, so you want to build the fifth or the sixth floor after some time so you constrained in your uh, uh Uh, design because the founding fathers of the architecture laid the uh, floors as that it supports only three floors. Now we have to build the fourth and the fifth, so it's not supported in the architecture. But you could very well change how many rooms each floor could have. So that's a design decision. So uh, design decisions are easy to change. Architecture decisions are hard to change. so this is uh, something that you need to know uh, that uh, design is always constrained by architecture architecture gives you the high level uh, uh, big picture uh, building blocks of what needs to be done design actually fits into that um, uh, bucket of what architecture has imposed on it so architecture says what needs to be done and design ensures that okay are we following those architecture principles by doing it effectively Uh, so this is a short tip on uh, the uh, constraints uh, part of it so you could actually go on and on and uh, there are a lot of other things that we could talk about here but i uh, just want to leave you with this quick tip on how to use uh, constraints effectively while designing systems building architectures and so on so thank you very much do share like and subscribe this video stay tuned for more Thank you very much.